Hello everyone, this is Gail, and today I'm just going to give you a short tip on how to condition clay. Uh, I know we've got some new people here that are just beginning clay, and I just want to show you the proper way to condition clay. Now, I've got a half a block of white and a half a block of yellow for a project I'm getting ready to do. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to condition this. I'm going to start by just slicing this into thinner slices. I usually manage to get two or, I mean, three or four out of this. Now this is nice soft clay. This is Primo Sunshine and it's really nice and soft. But being soft does not mean that it's conditioned. Uh, Polymer clay is made up of little teeny tiny particles of PVC and it's put together with a binder and that's what gives it this clay-like feel. And when it sits on a shelf, you know, when it sits like this on a shelf, I got a little bit of something on my yellow, um, that binder has a, has a, uh, it kind of, settles to the bottom. Like if you're sitting it this way, it all kind of soaks down to the bottom. So what you need to do is to mix that binder up uh, in back into the clay. Now what I normally do, and I'm sorry I, I don't have my handle out for my pasta machine. I am using my motor, so it's going to be a little noisy. But I, uh, what I might do is turn the sound off. And now what I'll do is I'll take two of these and put it together, and I'll put it through sideways. And I'll do the same thing with the other one. Then I'll put those two together. Now all we've got now is two sheets each rolled out at the thickest setting, which is double the thickness, which is what you're supposed to use. And then I'm just going to put it through. So now I have one sheet of uh, the sunshine clay. So I'm going to fold it in half. And what I like to do is when I fold it, I take it and turn it one quarter of a turn so that the fold is on the right hand side and I run it through this way. <laughs> then I fold it, turn it a quarter of a turn, and run it through this way again. <laughs> now what this will do is eventually when you're finished you're going to have either a long strip or you're going to have something a little bit better rectangular shape than this is. This is not very rectangular. So I'm going to turn the sound off and I'm going to go ahead and finish conditioning this yellow.
Okay, now I would probably run this through another uh, maybe 10 times to get it fully blended. But you can see I've got a much more, it's closer to a rectangular shape now than it was before. And it's, that's a tr this is a trick that I learned from Donna Cato a um, long time ago. She was showing us how to do that so that you don't end up with so many uh, ragged edges. You can get rid of a lot of your ragged edges this way. But I just wanted to give you a short little tutorial on how to condition clay. So come back again for, soon for another tip or another tutorial. Thanks.